Hi everyone, this is Amin, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about TWT. So the target of this video is target wake time. And what's that? It's the power saving method for IoT devices in Wi-Fi 6 or IEEE 802.11ax. By the time you're done with the video, so you'll know about TWT and the difference between TWT and DTIM. I'm gonna explain them uh, on the blackboard. But in general, what I can say right now, it's a negotiated system between AP and a station uh, based on the expected traffic. So AP controls the flow of the traffic and negotiates uh, to the client stations in order for uh, having more time or managing the flow. In this way, the contention will be decreased. Like, like the first good point is that uh, minimizing uh, contention between the stations. You know uh, about the contention mechanism somehow fighting, I mean, to get the time to talk. The other thing is that for IoT devices, I mean, in general, for portable devices or uh, let's say battery operated, battery based operating devices, it is like a big advantage because in the concept of energy consumption, it helps them, helps them a lot. But how it is uh, or how it does, what it does, let's go to the blackboard. Delivery traffic indication map. We know that in general, traffic is in three types. So we have unicast, we have multicast, and we have broadcast. Unicast is uh, like when we have a specifically a receiver for that message. But in multicast and broadcast, there is a thing that uh, they are directed to all the stations. And it is responsibility of the BSS to provide a way to make sure all the stations are awake. Oh, this is the question. Are they sleeping? Yes. If you can remember some of the, those QS ways, so we have something like a sleeping time and to save more battery or you know to save the system less consuming energy for those stuff we have that uh, waking time but here in dtim we have something which we call it dtim intervals it's something configurable it says how often uh, those devices can be on or off. For example, DTIM interval of three, it means every third beacon, it can be on. And a beacon uh, with DTIM information informs the stations or a station uh, when the next DTIM occurs. How we have something AID, if you can remember from CWMA, association identifier, if it is zero, if it is set to zero, so it means back to sleep. So basically, clients will be up, whatever is off, all of them will be up and check AID in the beacon. So DTIM, DTIM says for, um, wake up, so they will wake up and they check if AID is meant for them, they remain awake unless they go to sleep. It is the concept of that. However, opposed to DTIM in TWT, we can say theoretically, clients can sleep for hours. And it is something we call it good for IoT, uh, battery operating or battery based uh, devices. How, let's come up with this example, let's think of that. Imagine like we are in an airport, and there are some sort of big speakers that like page uh, people, for example, passenger, someone. Since, I mean, every time the speakers of an airport, they announce something, everyone, everyone, all of these people will be alerted to listen. What's that? Maybe they are fetching someone, they are poking, they are announcing something important. So in this way, in every announcement, all of these people will listen up to what is uh, their speaker is going to say. However, let's say 
if we are able to send someone uh, someone as the representative a specific person for this guy hey we are having something to say to you okay listen and then send another person to this one hey listen there is something we want to share it to you so this for this this for this and then let's say another one to this guy and say hey listen there is something i mean if we do it like this every time there is no need to uh, become everyone alerted and in this way these i mean the rest of the people they, they will have their peace of mind they're not gonna listen every time so this is the concept of twt i mean if we can assign people to each person to to call him to fetch him it is the concept of twt i mean i i try to just say it as simple as possible so it it works like that we have our station we have our ap we have our clients let's say there is like flow of communication and they have their like uh it's for example for let's say client uh, number one is sleeping and then here we have client number two is sleeping their sleeping time and this one has its own uh twt trigger maybe one here maybe one here or just this one uh like has one here so let's say client wakes and transmit data this one it is when the the client number two it wakes up and transmits the data so wakes up transmit transmits data it is the concept of twt uh, i try to say it like as simple as possible and it is what i wanted to say and uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel uh, bye everyone bye